Hi there, sign up Sagittarius. This is Kim here to do your reading today. Hope you guys are doing really good. Thank you for joining me as always. As always, if you're new, subscribe so you can come back and get kind of like updates on your energy as I open up to your spirit team, your spirit guides, and your angels. I do have private readings available if you'd like to support the channel that way. They are $22 to $60, three different prices in the description box below, and it's a recorded reading. It's especially important to put me on your whitelist for your email um, for that. Anyway, so getting into this, you can also support by hitting the like button, subscribing, commenting, all of that good stuff. I do appreciate the comments, by the way. Thank you so much. And it is my highlight of the day. It really is. So because <clears throat> I'm a bit of a hermit so <laughs> it, is my con it is my connection Sagittarius we're going to start with a rune which is immediately coming out oh well this one came out for um, the collective read that I the last one that I did yesterday and then it came out for Aries too so this is about you really needing to it's Tewaz, for one thing, and it's about you needing to harness your spiritual strength <clears throat> um, to be that warrior that you are already so you could feel like you've got a little bit of armor on when this card comes out. You know, preparedness, getting ready for whatever it is that you're wanting to fight for, metaphorically. Spiritual di self-discipline, achieving victory with honor, righteous success, support noble causes, prepare for battle, focus, challenges to overcome, self-discipline and honor. It says sharpen your body, mind, and sword. So it has to do with sharpening the way that we're thinking, too, for sure. Sharpening the way that we're thinking and, um, yeah, keeping our thoughts as directed towards our alignment with our higher self keeping our thoughts in that area especially if they if you find them going any other area that is not feel good <clears throat> so it's a you can do it spirit that's coming through is you can you can do it <laughs> adam sandler uh <laughs> With the uh, the lawnmower thing, <laughs> you can do it, guy. Oh, I loved him. What was his name? He was the little guy that he was the comedian, Rob Schneider. Oh my God, I love him. <laughs> I love him. He makes me smile. Okay, so you can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Let's see what we've got, Sagittarius. What do we have? I'm, I think I want two from this deck. This might have more than two. This is Kim Kranz, Wild Unknown Alchemy. Okay, we'll take gold too. Atomic number 79. 79, which is a 16, which is interesting because that's the exact number of videos I had to delete before I was able to get your video recorded today, which is the number of the tower. Boy, you can connect everything, can't you? All right, Saturn. Hunger. Mm-hmm. Antimony, 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 antimony used in uh, smelting um, gold. Well, not, yeah, okay, I, I might get those terms mixed up, so I don't want to say exactly, but I do know that it's when you have other metals or other minerals that are in with gold, you would use the, you could use antimony as a way to separate the gold from everything else. And it, in the guidebook, though, you're going to get this saying that it is the hunger, it is the drive, uh, that is, it's like an animal instinct. It's the animal, it's the animal, it's the animal instinct and in me. The cranberries, it's the animal. Oh, you might want to listen to that song to, like, charge you up. The animal, uh, animal instinct is what it's called. The cranberries is a really good song, and it, it's very, like... Yeah, you know, it gets you going. So, um, gold is a noble. It's a noble metal. It's a high caliber, high class. It is rare, but you find it. 
and it's interesting because you're finding it even in the middle of, of these time constraints, money constraints, anything that you think is restricting you from the great planet Saturn, anything that you think is a, okay, it's a, it's a this, it's a that, there's a consequence to this, there's a time restraint, constraint, it, this might be that, you, this might be a hunger to overcome this, and you see there is a gold ball in the middle, and I feel like you'd find that as you overcome anything, even time, even time, so there's, you may be going in, we're doing meditations where you're shifting timelines, you know, you may be looking up binaural beats, or it might be a good idea to look up binaural beats, um, I do, I do them a lot, I had to do them when, um, I'm having any kind of, uh, ache or pain, I will look up what frequency is going to help my body to repair itself and then send my consciousness and my breath to that area and it works and and they uh do have subliminal which those are great too if you, f if you find a good one um subliminal subliminals with the binaural be that's like a like a blend i think i found one the other night it was a blend of anyways it would anyways okay so i I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Something is about to be cracked open for you. Lightning. The egg, the manifestation, is coming to perfection. See this? It's coming to perfection. This is like the last stage of something that you have been trying to create around and around. And there's the pearl there. But yeah, it is. It is coming. This is the process of the death, dying, mortification. It's actually when... Uh, when I see this card, I, I think of the uh, worms churning in the soil. And and so if a plant has died, you know, or something like that, then it mixes with the soil and then its death actually becomes part of the renewal for something new to spring forth from it. And so this is like saying, hey, the ground is fertile. You're about to definitely get what you want. And it's going to be brand new, though. It's going to be brand new. These two cards kind of are very similar as to uh, like the challenges or the things that we're overcoming. Your instinct is leading. Okay, and I have glass. So this is about your focus. So your focus, your law of attention, where you're putting your attention to. It can also mean that somebody is looking at you as you are focused. I think it, well, oftentimes things are so connected that they mean many things at once. And I'm sure when you see these cards laid out, some of you all get, pick up different references for different things. Wow. It's like whatever this hunger or this instinct is, it helped you to bleach out anything that was causing you to feel uh, trapped, restricted, you know what I mean? It's the animal, it's the animal, it's the animal instinct. I yeah, know I don't, that's not a very good Ireland, Ireland accent from Ireland. animal the full oh the full and the star on this split as i do my first shuffle nice right nice this is an enlightened being that is ready for the next journey wow yeah in this picture their head is full of a lot of stuff useful information the star you're uh, manifesting your dreams your dreams and where are they coming from? The animal instinct in you. Antimony. Separating everything that is not great from what is great and you know what you want. And that's why it's it's coming. It's the animal. Oh, two of cups too on the bottom. So uh, your tarot card though. This is the circle of these. I got these cards interesting. I didn't know they were going to be this small, but I should have figured that they were because... They were set like $7.99 on eBay. But it is the, 
It is the uh, Circle of Life Tarot, and they're absolutely beautiful. I might try to find them in a full size because they're beautiful. So I have the Knight of Swords. This is change, and this is also saying, since it came out over here near this glass, it's saying, yes, yes, yes. Your focus, your determination, and your drive is going to get you everything that you want. Everything. Don't worry about time. Don't worry about what had ended because you're now in fertile ground is the, is the biggest message I'm getting out of this. I need some coffee in the morning here. It's the animal, it's the animal instinct in me. It's the animal. There's a fool. <sighs> Taking a leap of faith. It's like saying, here we go, universe. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's a new beginning. Um, the zero point. What is zero, zero point? What is that? Like, it's where anything is possible from that point. If you can imagine a vortex or an angle, the zero point's right here, and all you have left to do at that point is expand. Or you could be sucked into a black hole. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be, though. All right, so I have the Five of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Hmm. Tied to this new beginning, obviously, Mm. Yeah, there's no room for self-defeat. That's why I'm getting there. There is no room for you. In this cycle, if this is what you're wanting, is to like overcome and have perfection with what you're wanting to create with an instinct, with a drive, with the passion driving you to find this goal, then self-defeat's not an option. And your choices must be chosen carefully. You must choose carefully. There's a lot of things to choose from. Oh, I got the message. Will you fight for this? How bad do you want this? Will you fight for this? That's interesting. Hmm. That's what I have to tell myself during my intermittent fasting, by the way. <laughs> it, is, I, it really works so well, the intermittent fast, fasting. It works so well with me, but I really have to tell them, like, how bad, how bad do you want this, like, transformation with the body and stuff like that? How bad do you want this? And so that's what I tell myself, um, and that kind of gets me through. Uh it gets me through a hunger for a cup that is not part of the plan. So if I have a hunger for a cup that is not part of the plan or a craving or something like that, even a self-defeatist, I'm going to escape instead. Like when I get that, I'm like, ah, how bad do you want this? Doesn't always work, but it works most of the time. <laughs> works most of the time. I don't think you're going to get dragon drug down to any um, arguing, fighting, conflict. I don't think you're going to let it. It's like, nope, that's not an option. To be defeated is not an option. You'll have to find your spiritual strength. It kind of goes along with the rune. Prepare for battle. Focus. Focus. So, focus. Especially anything that can hinder our focus from being the best. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so it's taking me a minute. I have to look and see because <clears throat> just got these cards like a few a couple days ago. So you have the Queen of Pentacles here. First time I've gotten her in a reading, actually. That's neat. With the Ouroboro. And then the Six of Wands Ouroboro representing that death and rebirth cycle 
Um, this is a person who's extremely grounded, knows, knows how to handle things like their work, maybe a home business. They know how to manage resources very well. They're practical. Um, this is a feminine energy that knows how to receive, especially when it comes to finances. Also, when it comes to um, time management, I would think the Queen of Pentacles would be very good at that. So there may be a thing about focus and time management also here. Uh, then the Six of Wands is, well, we have a person that's playing what looks to be like some kind of interesting organ with faces on them. <laughs> that's cute. So they're sitting down doing something, practice, maybe practicing, but it's for all to hear. It's for all to see. Um, there's something very spiritual coming across with this card and you as being that this um, like spiritual battle or strength that you're having to find at this time isn't just for you. It's for everyone else that's going to see or hear it and then provide a ripple effect of great inspiration of praise and you getting the recognition that you deserve uh, because of how it's going to help other people too so it's a very strong leo energy which is your sister sign capricorn gemini aquarius and scorpio out here so far but i don't get hung up on science that much unless it comes out a whole whole lot it's two of ones okay so and the way that this is saying is saying that there's something tied with your and this is going to sound very obvious of me but there is something tied to your time management the your material abundance and your finance is doing good and as well as everything else running smoothly and your focus and your focus two of wands in the in the and it's in the it was kind of in the reverse but it was is it tying to this um knight of swords okay it's also about um combating procrastination Nip it in the bud before it grows. <laughs> Thanks, Mayberry. All right, so I have uh, the chariot. Beautiful. This is the victory. This is what you're going towards. Picking up speed, gaining momentum. On a very practical, grounded level, um, it may be about travel and travel plans. Might be about a car, a car situation, or need a good vehicle. I think this is this. I think the chariot is your spiritual strength, and I think that metaphorically, you're already in that chariot of great spiritual strength, and that that is what's going to get you there. It will provide your connection, your connection with God, Source, Divine, your connection with your higher self, your connection with your focus and determination. There on that connection is what's going to speed up your victory bring greater awareness and keep you really balanced nice and balanced the chariot the victory what you pursue with that much determination is going to ensue what you want to pursue will ensue wow yeah nine of cups wishes granted wish fulfillment and then you just know it it's the high priestess. You just know it. You just know your intuition, your gifts, your skills, psychic gifts and abilities um, are probably coming online more than ever, actually stronger more than ever. Maybe you feel more empowered, um, more in control over this avatar, over this time space that we have to work with, uh, all of that. This is you really knowing who you are. And no, you don't get to know the secret. <laughs> I feel like you're saying that to somebody else. No, you don't get to know my secret. But <laughs> like, there's something about how you create or how you manifest that you're keeping to yourself because 
actually it seems like it's individual to your divine plan a specific way that you manifest that's a different message coming across i've never gotten a message like that before i'm seeing somebody being able to manifest what they want through a very conscious connection of the foods they eat how they even prepare it and the love that they put into things not just what you eat how something makes you feel i don't know this could be i don't know what it is because it's like a secret but there's something about that. Oh, and then we have the death card. 13, death card, transformation, change. And and so this is, this is great transformation for you. The three of cups on the bottom, it's going to be a, a win situation where you'll be celebrating because this transformation is going to be so great. The Ace of Cups coming for you, coming for you. So the Ace of Cups, this person's jumping into what the divine has prepared as an ocean of love, um, a loving new beginning, however that looks for you. It can be on many areas, like on many levels um, in your life. Zero point, remember it could be anything. So a loving new beginning, um, the purest of the cups, because it can be absolutely anything, but it is guaranteed that it's blessed by the divine. Mm. You feel like you're floating. Okay, and there's your strength, your spiritual strength. You are the lion. I am the lion. I am that spiritual strength. So grab it by the mane. <laughs> like this person. Like you're doing that and allow whatever needs to fall especially old ways of thinking any kind of negativity or maybe even putting betrayal you know putting it in the past putting accepting an ending these swords are broken in this card it's the ten of swords but they're broken right so we, we're breaking patterns of the way that we allowed our thinking to either consume us or that we allowed our thinking to dictate sit in nothingness for a little while and then rebuild your thoughts or th you know what i mean like something like that sit in nothingness for a while and rebuild your thoughts starting from a place of this is the new transformed you <clears throat> okay i'm going to pull from the 108 oracle and then Well, maybe I'll pull a few other oracle cards and wrap it up. Okay, what you got for Sagittarius, please? Oh, well, you are breaking free from anything that made you feel like you couldn't breathe. Any kind of people-pleasing energy, breaking free from that. Anyone that thought, it does say shapeshift or holding it together, people-pleaser, but it's way that came out it's in the reverse something that is happening now the situation or event in question is occurring right now this thing to manifest for you is occurring now inventor well that's interesting okay to try something again and again it was okay to fail is what it says on that card try it again try something again you are inspiring ideas you're inspiring others too like i said with that six of wands you're the mastermind of this modern era here to innovate and invent and bring something new to the collective sagittarius okay with the focus and maybe focusing also on balance and relaxation too will really help you contemplation deep breath centered go within steady balanced relax take a break time alone balance chakras wellness and rest <clears throat> what are you declare what are you declaring oh wow <laughs> what are you declaring with your thoughts how much attachment have you placed on certain things and then i would find a way to detach <laughs> I would figure out how to detach until you're in alignment with the most positive side of yourself that you can be in. 
detaching from outcomes or results that we think are exactly like it's got to be this way, opening up to different possibilities. Being careful as to how we are defining a situation too in our life. Um, that's kind of just natural that we're going to do that, you know. Um, I'm feeling like this, therefore it must be this, or I think it's this. Um, careful of how we do that because then that really shapes how that emotion or that feeling is going to uh, unravel for you throughout the course of your day, night. You know, um, if you can, the best, I think the best advice is to find out the, it's what I do is, uh, if you don't know a reason, then always pick the, like, what would be the most benevolent reason for feeling a certain way or the most kind, loving thing that spirit was wanting to tell you or let you know by invoking such a feeling? Think of the best thing. And then there you go. That is alignment. The best and most loving thing, uh, answer to even a bad feeling is going to turn it around. Okay, unlikely. So that so there is some type of um, ending here with that ten of swords. Like I say, the situation is unlikely to occur. It might be about pleasing others and staying on this path where it's predetermined in a way. Like that seems unlikely that you would be going down that path. Something about it says headache, poor health, disease, illness. You have to, especially with the water carrier coming out and this could be giving your cup to a whole lot of other people and then finding yourself depleted like pouring it all out for everybody else and then we end up depleted so careful with that you are the mirror you are seeing yourself correctly at this time self-love self-appreciation the mirror Somebody could be mirroring you. You could feel like somebody's mirroring you. Of course, this person of air can be, could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or it could be talking about your mental sharpness and ability to, you know, have this inventor energy here, eloquent, rational, upright. It says the quick, the great mentalist. Oh, maybe you're a quick thinker too, really easy to come up with things like right on the spot. You know, your mind is sharp. It thinks quick. It's just self-care. This is the within a few days, the situation or event will happen in a matter of days. And then I'm looking at that being highlighted right now. Don't um, surrender to anybody else's opinions or anybody else's plan for you. Make sure it's your plan or coming from your heart space. I think it's what it's saying with all, not that you don't want peace, but that you're not going to suffer your peace so that somebody else can have theirs, you know. So castle, pride, recognition, position, praise for achievements, ego, wealth, ancestry, you will not surrender. You will have this power, the old guard, it says prestige, prestige, timeless, position. Praise for achievements coming out again to travel. And I said that could be travel also. Bottom of the deck is a reflection talking about friends that will come and go in our lives. And reflecting on that. And then I pick up the friends card. All of your love light extends its reflection. Its reflection is shown in chosen friends. Support. There's always help around when you ask. It can be found. Change. A change of residence, partner, career, or job is on the cards. You are restless in need of change. And that's exactly what's coming your way. Reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease on life. 
Gratitude, everything will be all right. Fairies dance in your delight. Surprise, a disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching. Turquoise, a turquoise crystal is the color blue and its healing magic works on you. And then your angel number, we'll close out with the angel number. 88, 33. Twenty-one, and this is what you're doing with that six of wands. You are highly creative with a strong will to succeed. Whoa, did you see that? Did you see that? Was that on camera? Oh my God. That's never happened like that. What the? F oh, that was so cool. Oh, I'm getting tingles on my crown chakra. Oh my God, that was so cool. Wow. Wow, this one's really important. <sighs> mirroring, mirror, Mi mirroring. <sighs> Creativity is a driving force in your life and your imagination is rich. You are able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. I am a visionary. Wow, guys. And of course, and it wants to come out again. 88, you are on the cusp of prosperous, abundant spiritual life. Something's about to double for you. You are seeing yourself clearly. And I want to say to this group, whatever it is that your instinct, your hunger is driving you to, your spiritual strength is off the chart high. You should not have any doubt. And um, something that you are doing I feel like it's going to double everything, double your, double your glow up, double it. So double physical appearance, if that's what you're going for, double the money, double the finances, double the amount of love, double the amount of friends, double the amount of support. <sighs> Maybe you're doubling up on self love too. And that's why this is happening. But wow, this, this is crazy. Okay. Wow, these readings always impress me, but this one is like really impressed me because that's never happened the way that that, I promise you, I have done thousands of readings. Well, you can see on YouTube, I've done thousands of readings and that has never happened that way. It has never flipped out that way ever. And, and, that's, and that's saying something to me, wow. Whew. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which will bring financial and material abundance into your life. I am wealthy, 88. You're going to make some, literally you're going to, it's 33 on the clock. You all are going to inspire somebody or other people to, be, to believe more in magic and their own magic. Just as your energy has inspired me through your reading, because that's amazing. All right, these are going to bring material and um, financial. Uh, it's a spiritual success, yes, but it's going to bring everything else that you want too. I am wealthy. And this one's the important one here. Surprise. Master number 44, your angels are encouraging you to continue with your present life path with diligence and determination. Even greater success will come in the future. Master number 44, I am supported. All, multiples of four, all are, okay, all. It's the one thing these have in common. Okay, so I'm sending you so much love and light. Thanks for your energy today, Sagittarius.